Level six, here we are. Nothing. Almost anything could be on here now. Because we're... Oh, Flush Clan Archers. Weaker archers than last floor. Okay, sure. Unseen. Stronger hidden than on the second floor. That weeping electric guitar. Oh, there they come. It's useless. That's not useless. Oh, go try and... Oh, that's a lot of unseen, though. Yeah. Looks like we have Flesh Clan Archers, we have Unseen. Yeah, well, you're not guaranteed to get go trines on every floor of the catacombs. Uh, if there are ever any... Goat shrines, it's practically guaranteed that you'll have uh, goat men on that floor. So it has something to pull from when it's spawning enemies around the shrine itself. Die, please. That way I hit. Because I don't want to just move forward and aggro everything within sight. Unless I'm pretty sure that I can. Because yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Just taking fire from multiple enemies at once. It is painful. It is very painful. Spell of healing. Get that healing going on. Arcane power brings destruction. Cool. Free mana. Okay, so we have Unseen, we have Flesh Clan. Yeah, when I say almost anything can be down here, this is the level where it's like, okay, you don't have the deep enemies, enemies that only show up in hell, or the very last floor of the caves. But you do have, still, like the highest tier of enemies that can show up in the catacombs. And the catacombs, the cathedral levels. And you have the starts of some enemy types that can only appear in, that appear in the caves. So the catacombs are a weird transitionary period between weak enemies and strong enemies. So you get a good mix. Oh, more gloom bats. Didn't see enough of them before, apparently. Okay, so we have Charging Gloom Bats, we have Unseen, who stalk around. We have Flesh Clan Archers, who just stand around. Unlike Skeleton Archers, Flesh Clan Archers will move around to, like, get out of Walls of Fire or line up better shots. If ever you leave Line of Sight and one of them is aggroed to you, it will strafe around until it sees you. Anyway... This is an important place, the Chamber of Bone. We can't get there right now, because we need to find a book to open these walls. Because that's the way game mechanics work. And nothing. I'm still recording, right? Yep, still recording. I was going to say, wow, only 24 minutes. No, it's been an hour. Okay. Just had to check the recording. And here we go. Another small room. Wow. There's a lot of small connecting hallways for the catacombs. And again, you never really know with the catacombs. These small connecting hallways could just be room into room into room. Still don't have the healing spell. Catacombs are really the last place you start. You can find bookshelves. 
quick chills and normal shrines only appear on the cathedral and catacomb levels. Caves don't have either, and hell has cauldrons, which basically are goat shrines. Act as a totally random shrine. But yeah, no bookshelves in either of those, so no. Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror, and so it is written. And there we go. We've opened up the bonus floor. Does not exist in multiplayer, the Chamber of Bone. It's another guaranteed spawn location. Horror captains aplenty. And the unseen. Just trying to draw out the unseen, hit them before before they sneak up on me and kill me. I am running low on life. It's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. Horn demon, that's a problem. They don't actually appear in the hell levels. I think they camp out in the caves. But during the caves, they can be everywhere. Speaking of everywhere, freaking unseen. Can you just open a door? I think that guy just opened a door. How so rude. I don't even know what door there was to open. Unless he literally opened the door. The one and only door to the Chamber of Bone. That is a door I very much want closed. That door needs to remain closed until I say I want it open. Okay, there's that. I think there's horn demons here. Yes, there are. And they run so fast that they just run through your arrows. Because that's the way hit detection works. And here's one lever. Oh, the lever. Which opens that door. One of these has unseen, and one of these has skeletons. Or they both just have unseen, I forget. I pressed that key, you just didn't want to take it. It's okay, we'll do it live. Do it this way. Anything? Anything other than my bow breaking? Oh wow, that's a sound I don't usually hear. Sound of walking into uh, preset fire. Just literally only these burning things are the only potentially damaging preset fire in the game. Die please. Die please. And I need to repair my bow again. Isn't that wonderful? Maybe I can push a little bit extra use out of it. These chests are pre-programmed to have three non-negative magical items in them. Every time. Build that one, and this one. Whoops. I made a mistake. Luckily, Firewall is very good, because as I said, skeletons are idiots. And... What did I say about skeletons being idiots? You're supposed to walk into the fire. 
there the AI get improved? Skeletons are supposed to walk straight into the fire. Is it a hell mode thing? They're rather not. They're smarter? Or is this part of the digital update? The AI got smarter. Could have more processing power can be pushed to them. Either way, I hope this doesn't cause problems for my plan. Uh, Staff of Firebolt, Scimitar, Warhammer. I have no room. Don't actually care about any of this crap. You know what? Screw it. I'll take the plate mail. I don't have to go back to Adria. We're taking a portal back to town. Making my way back to town. Walking slow because I'm stuck to a grid. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. That's not a good ring. That's not a good ring at all. Minus 22 hit points. Okay, what is sure. You, my if you really need fire res. If you need fire res, you also need hit points too. Let's just come over here, Whoa, Mr. Grizz. What can I do for you? Uh, repair my bow, please. Repair Arcane's Valor, which is already heavily damaged. All my armor is heavily damaged. Wow. Oh wow, just because it's red, it paid for the cost of identification. Uh, was there any premium items I wanted? Just that ruby mail, which cost all my money, but would max out my fire res. Whoa, what can I do for you? What was the other fix on it? Fastest? So it wouldn't even lose my hit recovery. That's where the cost is coming in. That fastest. Not losing hit recovery. Pretty important. At 175, I can add that to a pile. Gonna wanna clear out this inventory as much as I can. Because I am going to get a ton of items. Probably. At the very least, I'm picking these up. So that's the guaranteed loot. But there is one other thing. I wish I had InfraVision to show this off. This room is literally packed to the brim with horror captains. Let's fight him. Horror captains and a couple unseen. Uh, that didn't go so well. Let me try that again. I wonder if telekinesis would work well. Oh. Uh, kind of helps if I don't hit the wrong hotkey. Uh, why did that one cast in front? Once again, spells casting in front of doors! What the heck? Game. We don't want that. We would rather you, I don't know, cast the spell where I tell you to cast it? Time, please. These guys were weakened by a fireball. Why are they still coming? Ooh. 
Oh, sweet. Thank you for warning me, firewall. It's like sending an alarm spell, except for it's a fireball. And the healing I can just set up later. Gold, gold, gold. One case for repairs. Potions. Save game. But how full is this hallway now? Very. Hmm. That could have gone better. How couldn't it have? Skeletons are just straight aggro AI. Don't care about strafing much. They'll do it occasionally, but their main focus is to just follow you, track you down, and kill you. And they're pretty effective at their job. Want more plate mail? Or is that the same plate mail as before? Could you not just bypass that as if it didn't exist? Did I just cast that down? What? What? Um, I disagree strongly with what just happened. Looked out there. Okay, so... Maybe not the smartest use of a firewall, but... Oh, great. And just as I run through it again, it disappears. Oh, if I can just peg things through the wall, that'll be nice. Okay, through the doorway. What do we got? Got some more people on this angle. Come on, die, please. Really level up. Hey, another book of fireball. That's nice. Nifty. Fleet mail. Yeah, there's something else dropped there. There's something else on the ground. Gothic plate. Scroll of guardian. I've aggroed everything and I put that in a stupid way. Stop it! Stop it! That was dumb of me. That place I'm like the worst possible spot. You just walk right around it. Okay, sure! Why not? Come on. Come on. What else was dropped? Oh, this is easy and I just clean up, but... But no, because this is hell difficulty. Apparently their AI is smart enough not to just walk into a firewall. Or at the very least, they walk through the firewall and then don't die the end. Oh, hello. That's what happens when you eat a horn demon charge. Bad things. Oh yeah, scroll of healing. Good, 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 good. I have a little bit of leeway now. Have to use it. As you can probably tell, the fastest hit recovery is skipping three or four frames. It's not a lot of frames, but it's enough frames to matter. Oh, ow, that hurts so much. Yeah, you can cast scrolls if they were spells. And what else you can cast if it were a spell? The ancient tome. Gives you a free use of... Wow! Wait, what? Wow. It's actually really kind. I think that was updated in the digital version as well. Because that gives you a free use of Guardian, but 
normally, at least in the base version, it would also cast Guardian, draining you of like all your mana as soon as you used it, unless you're a sorcerer. You have the mana to spare. Eh, let's bring that to base 30. And then get to more decks. Honestly, most of my armor class is still coming from decks at this point. But another book of Firewall brings Firewall level 4, I think. 3. Only 18 mana of cast Firewall, though. That's not bad. That is some pretty good firewalling. But anyway, I think I'm gonna call it there, though. Because I've been going for about two hours, and once again, I am getting very hungry. Uh, I will identify... I guess just the staff is the only unidentified item I have. You know, I'll identify the staff, and then I'll just take care of stuff off screen. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Spider staff. Okay, plus mana. Not terrible, but not great. And I did level up, so... Whoa. What can I do for what you? What else can I buy now? Bow of the Heavens. Bow of Precision. You know... They sound nice. But they also are about as good as the bow I currently have. Just way more expensive. And if anything, I think the lightning damage on the bow actually Whoa, makes it better you? against, except for enemies for lightning immune. Because the lightning has a chance to proc multiple times. Simply because of the way the lightning damage is programmed. Yeah, I think that definitely makes it better. Wow, wow, all my armor got hurt so freaking bad. Yeah, scroll of apocalypse, I'm never gonna get enough mana to cast. I was gonna sell those because they're worth like 750 a pop. I don't really care about these other scrolls. But yeah. I'm gonna cut out this what bit you, my friend? of stuff in town, and I will see you guys next time. This is Mithril Zenith, signing out.